Hello there, this is Dimitris Christo and I'm back with a new Blender video tutorial and this time around I thought it'd be nice to share some quick tips with you some quick and easy video tutorials for you to follow along and let's begin, we have the camera looking down to our plane, we have the camera set up, you can see the camera frame here and we have the plane selected I'll hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode, hit S and Y to scale it on the Y axis. I'm going to scale it up on the Y, just move it uh, away from the camera frame, make it fill the camera frame actually. And also hit S and X to scale on the X axis and scale it a bit, oops, scale on the X axis, scale it a bit more down. We want a thin line. Okay. Now, Move it to the left. All right. Now I'll move over to the modifiers. Click Add Modify, and the title of this video tutorial is "Arrays Are Boring" because they really, really are. So what we're getting with an array, we have, we will uncheck the relative offset and check the constant offset and bring the x value up, and then increase the count to see what we're getting, and this is pretty much what we're getting with an array. Now this doesn't quite actually look so exciting, but we're going to make it look a bit better. Now, what we can do is add another array, okay? And check relative offset and check constant offset again, and move it away from the first array. You can see the first array is on the left, and the second array is the new clone here. You can move it at about here. Now what I'll do is add yet another array. Uncheck relative, check constant and move this one away at about here. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm having some variation between the lines between the clones for each array and creating a slightly more interesting result. Let's add another one, click Add Modifier and Add Array. Now for this one, I'm going to uncheck Relative Offset again and check Constant Offset. What I'm going to do is, you can see the first array on the left again and the second array, the second clone actually of the array on the right. But what we can also do is move this closer to the first array and create something interesting like that okay or perhaps like that okay see what we're getting we're getting this distance here 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 and here we have three and all that then we can also surprise surprise add a final array Uncheck relative, check constant, and move this away as well. And again, creating something nice. Okay, we have four lines in a row here, and you can see how this one looks. This one looks pretty varied, pretty almost random. What you can also do here is to animate the offset. You don't have to grab and move the object to move them away in relation to one another. You can always change the constant offset here value for a nice little animation. So you can see that you can create some interesting results using arrays. All you have to do is stack them one on top of the other. So this is a quick tip. Hope you like it. This is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.